With the recent news of Cobb having to add many limitations to its tuning software, you may be looking into getting a standalone ECU. Today's video is for you. Over the past couple days, I've been gathering some information that I can give to you guys on standalone ECUs, specifically for your Subaru. So prices may vary depending on your platform if you're switching from Cobb to a standalone ECU. I called some tuners to get pricing on tuning for standalone ECUs. And right here, I got three different plug and play options for your Subaru going from cheap to more expensive and the features that they have on them. So getting a standalone ECU unlocks unlimited limitations like rolling anti-lag, different modes of boost control like boost by gear, engine protection like having a bunch of fail safes. Pretty much you can unlock your car's full potential with a standalone ECU, but clearly with a pretty price tag. Now there are many great companies that offer standalone plug and play ECUs. And I just chose this one for no real specific reason other than a lot of people were commenting these companies specifically that they have used in the past. So that's why I'm covering them. Now starting out with a Link G4X. This is gonna run you $1,600. This one is specifically for 2006 7 Deborah X STI. It's a plug and play. It fits inside the original factory enclosed housing that your stock ECU is in right now. There's no altering with the factory wiring and some cool features that you get with this that I thought stood out are anti-lag, launch control, flat foot shift. Clearly there are many more features, but I thought those ones were obviously pretty cool. I know the Cobb Access port has flat foot shift and launch control relax. Now moving one step up is a Haltech Elite 2500. This one also is a plug and play system and some cool features that I saw are like nitrous control, boost control, boost by gear, sequential turbo control. I don't know who's putting like twin turbo or maybe it means like a twin scroll setup. And this one obviously has anti-lag, rolling anti-lag and engine protection stuff like fail safes. Meaning the car will pretty much go into a limp mode and protect itself if it sees anything weird from the sensors that it has. Now last, but certainly not least, we have a Motec M150 plug and play system. This one's gonna be like the Mac Daddy. If you're considering, get your wallet ready. This system's going to run you 48.50. And if you want some plug and play DCCD action, it's gonna be another $125. Now some of the cool features that this is gonna offer is OE DCCD control. And if you guys don't know what that is, that is going to be control over your center differential. I would assume more control versus just the regular knob that you have in your STI. This is gonna support factory cruise control, flex fuel tuning, NOS control, water injection with fail safes, anti-lag, rolling anti-lag, the whole boat. Now that's just for the ECU. If you want to have like a data logger and display, which who wouldn't because it looks freaking amazing. If you want to get a seven inch Motec C127 color display with USB, that alone is going to be 26 80. If you want to add 120 megabytes of memory, it's going to be another 530. Or if you just want to do USB logging, it's going to be 960. So let's just say we do that option. That's going to be $3,640. So combined for the data logger display plus getting the Motec M150, that's going to be $8,615. And that is without a tune. Now, I did mention in the beginning that I asked some tuners how much it's going to cost to actually get a car tuned that's on a standalone ECU. And obviously prices will vary. And I was talking to Subaru specific shops, so I'm not sure if it's gonna change up. But the one thing with a standalone ECU versus a reflash is you're starting from ground zero. So a tuner was saying me, they have to set up the entire thing if it's brand new to them, obviously, right? Which is going to take hours and hours. We're talking two, three, four X the time of a simple reflash on an ECU. So I would say prices range on a basic reflash from anywhere from 300 to $600, depending on if maybe if you're doing a 91 map and a flex fuel map. Some prices that I was hearing from tuners to get that all done is gonna be a thousand to $2,000. It could go up, it could go down. Maybe if you got some crazy hookup, but you have to understand it is going to take the tuner a very long time to get everything set up and run good. So if you want like the top of the line stuff, you're looking at like $10,000 with a tune to get you all set up. If you want the freaking Mac Daddy, Motec, M150 with the freaking display, the data logger, the whole shebang. Now this is just the research that I've done, but I actually have a friend who has a Time Attack Subaru with a standalone ECU. And I asked him if we would give him a quick call and ask him his experience with the standalone. Does he like all the features that he can get? Is it easier to tune, pricing, all of that? Let's give him a call real quick. Hello. What's going on, big dog? What's up, man? I got some questions for you. Yeah. 
Shoot. What is the name of the standalone system that you're running? Uh, Mtron. Mtron. What's the price on that guy? Um, and my my standalone was like I think 1850. Okay, and is it just like a plug and play? Like it literally? No. Um, oh shit. Um, you you have to. Uh, they make a plug and play option for BRZs. Oh, so you um, had to wire it in. So I had a full custom. Uh, racing like motor spec harness made for them. oh gee can you relax is the harness part of that 1800 or the harness is separate no the harness is separate but the, you can do a basic harness for like 1500 bucks kind of deal which would then put you back into like 3000 territory interesting uh but this the ecu has literally all the same uh, features as a motec yeah okay so, so it's it's equivalent to a motec but just cheaper is that something that uh, like your tuner recommended getting? Is that system versus? Yeah. Okay. It's, well, it's actually becoming very popular. So Entron's a very widely known brand in uh, Australia. Okay. Uh, it's actually on some of the fastest time attack cars in the world. Uh, oh, wow. run oh shit so it's just like the features that it can offer and maybe like the tuning software that they use is just like yeah so like motec kind of just became really widely popular because it has the ability to like do a lot of can busing mm -hmm. um so integrate with canvas systems yeah um and mtron has the same ability meaning but... like you can have control like i had that dude with the ls brz and like he did like his nos purge with like the windshield wiper shit like that's what you mean right yeah it's essentially, yeah, it works with the factory computer. I was asking some tuners, and they said it ranges from like a thousand to two thousand dollars to actually tune standalone versus obviously like a five hundred dollar reflash. Um, do you have any kind of pricing or numbers that you can give on tuning standalone honestly, stuff? I, I honestly don't know, but like my tuners kind of like hopped on board, did my like race program. So yeah, like, makes sense. I think what yeah. it, I think what it was is I think the big price just is for the initial setup is from yeah. what I was researching is like, yeah, you're starting from ground zero, you gotta set everything up. But if you wanna do just a reflash, it's like boom, on the go, it's all there. If anyone is actually serious about a car or any of the, like of their cars, like if they if they do more than just like a downpipe and like an intake, yeah, they need to be going like standalone. Yeah, it just, it's it's pretty much like I was saying in the beginning or when I started my video, it's like, if you want to unlock just every feature of your car, it's that. Like a stock ECU obviously has its limitations. So standalone is like, yeah. you want rolling anti-lag? Done. You want fucking yeah. meth injection yeah, with a whatever? Exactly. Like there's literally endless features. You take a look at like, um, like access to your rate and what the features they have on there mm -hmm. rather than the features that like the software system that my Mtron runs off now. So when he's tuning a car, He's able to look at every single aspect of the engine that's going on and you can actually get a you, it's like getting a if you think about like having your car like at a 75 percent tune and then now all of a sudden it's like a hundred percent yeah like, like all all the integrated it's, stuff like for fail safes is just like endless yeah. you know well and that and just like the tunes that much better like, do you still have dccd or no so and that's the other thing mtron controls dcd now too yeah i was gonna i was gonna say because i was looking at the the motec stuff um, and it was saying, yeah, you can have plug, you can just tap into that, have full control over that versus yep. just that fucking whatever knob, you know? Mtron controls each individual wheel rather than just a front and rear bias. Holy sh 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 what? Yeah. So the traction control is like, is insane. At the event that I do have to change a motor, um, my engine harness is now isolated to the engine. And I am uh, disconnect one connector. It's a Deutsch connector at the firewall. And uh, I'm able to remove my whole, my whole engine. Oh, I didn't connector. think about that. Yeah, so I'm literally, it's one connector and then like a couple of the boost connectors or boost solenoid connectors. And then literally like it just comes and I can literally pull my engine. Damn, alrighty, dude. Well, I'll, uh, yeah. I'll let you go. I appreciate your time. Yeah, all right, sounds good, man. All right, late. All right, bye. Well. There you have it. There are your new tuning options if you're planning to go standalone. Huge shout out to my homie Austin for all that great info on his Time Attack Subaru. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Peace out.